I'm Bob Dodge with Artemis Gallery. On October 31st, we've got our next fine auction. These are some of my all-time favorite pieces from that sale. Just some really fun things. Love this little bronze. Egyptian, uh, late dynastic, 26th dynasty. This is the Egyptian goddess Neet, or Neet, or Nit. She was the goddess of war and weaving. Just beautiful patina, wonderful provenance. Comes from Philip Mitri, who was an antiquities dealer in Cairo back in the 1940s and 50s. A uh, great surface, wonderful stance, just a killer piece. How can you not love this fertility figure? Amlash, uh, Caspian Sea region of northwestern Iran. So this was the personification of female beauty back 3,000 years ago. Probably not what most of us would uh, think of as the most beautiful female, but just such great presence and wonderful surface. Just such a sweet little ceramic. Look at this, Luristan, uh, Iran, 1000 BC to 600 BC. We've all seen Luristan bronze blades. You never find Luristan iron blades. For every 100 bronze blade I may come across, I might see one made out of iron. Sword, faces, uh, just the coolest piece of ancient weaponry you can find. As a kid growing up in Colorado, it would have been a fantasy of mine to actually go find a mug from the Anasazi culture of Mesa Verde. Intact, almost miniature in size, wonderful black on white paint. I mean, this kind of thing gives me goose chills because of what it would have meant when I was a kid, finding arrowheads out in western Colorado. Just a great piece. What we have here is an exquisite example of Roman redware pottery made about the fourth century AD, uh, or CE as we call it. Uh, it's got a wonderful Cupid figure. We've got Daphne and Apollo. Uh, Cupid shot Daphne with a lead arrow, so she hated Apollo. Shot Apollo with a gold arrow, so he was in love with Daphne. Just love that would never, uh, just never make it. Just didn't happen, kids. Great, beautiful piece, wonderful surface. This piece is very rare. Uh, it's called a Chuku uh, plaque, made by the Inca, found primarily in southern Peru. And it represents uh, fields and uh, streams and water. A lot of these uh, will have animals and humans. But these were found as offerings in caves, and they were dedicated to Pachamama and Pachapapa. And sometimes you would find them stacked in caves, but just the color that has survived for the last six or 700 years, I just love this. It makes a great piece of modern art and a great example of ancient art. How can you not like Greek Apulian fish plates. The fish always look so happy. About 340 BCE, uh, primarily used for the tomb, but the concept of the plate is you would serve fish and then the sauce would be in the middle, but always with happy smiling fish. Waves on the side, just a really cool thing. Great cannon. Comes from Mexico, 19th century. Obviously not a full-sized cannon that's designed to inflict damage. A signal cannon. So the Mexican army would have used this to signal troops in other regions. Still workable, although I would never recommend it. A little bit heavy. Original carriage, original paint. Uh, inscribed with initials. Cool. If you were a kid ever liked 
t fireworks and guns and things like this. I mean, you got to have something like this. What a great piece of pottery. This comes from Colombia. The culture is called Calima, so not to be confused with Colima from Mexico. But look at this seated figure. He's got a big wad of coca leaves in his mouth. Uh, this would have been mold made, held uh, liquor, chicha, uh, would have been owned by somebody fairly wealthy because of the detail, the size, just, just such an expressive piece of ancient pottery. This dates about 2,000 years old, so somewhere around 100 BC, BCE, to the middle of the first millennium AD. Just a great, great vessel. Every time I see this piece, I smile. This was made by the very famous Linares family in Mexico City. Uh, paper mache made around 1970. Uh, Pedro Linares was the patriarch of the family and started creating these in the 1950s, 1960s. Uh, perfect for the Day of the Dead ceremonies, which of course are very big and is coming up the day after our auction. But look at the face, the hat, the tire, the snake boa. God, I love this piece. My last uh, favorite piece from this sale, by George Rodrigue. Some people think his art is a little trite, a little popish. I've got five dogs. I love Blue Dog. So this is Blue Dog in red cloak, uh, artist proof, just such a fun, adorable little pup. Uh, I don't own a Rodrigue. I may own this one.